Wes Anderson has such a unique style that many people refer to him as being his own genre. He does this by using recurring actors, unconventional cinematography such as unique aspect ratios, dramatic zooms and compressed shots. So here are the questions I'll be breaking down. What are his most significant films? What are the defining characteristics and techniques of his style? And how do these techniques impact the audience? Number one, Wes Anderson's first major film, Rushmore, a coming of age drama, is probably his most conventional film, both in plot and cinematography. But early signs of some of his defining characteristics can be seen. These included the font Futura, which has been used in many of his films, symmetrical framing, and a reoccurring star in his films, Bill Murray. In The Royal Tenenbaums, a comedy film about three estranged siblings who reunite when their father is dying, his strong use of colour palettes emerges, and his role-bending characters can be seen with childish adults and mature-seeming children. His next major film, The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou, is about a famous aquatic explorer who hunts down a shark after it kills his friend. While this is quite an odd film, you can really see Wes Anderson's style being developed throughout his making. Arguably Wes Anderson's most popular film, The Grand Budapest Hotel, is also one of his most unique. It tells the story of Gustav H, a hotel manager who is wrongly framed for murder and his friendship with one of his lobby boys. Wes Anderson's first animated film and the film to Roald Dahl's classic children's book, Fantastic Mr. Fox, applies many of the same techniques that make his style so recognisable in his live action films. And finally, his latest film, Isle of Dogs, which was also animated, tells the story of dogs who are deported from Japan after dog flu in the future. The key to Wes Anderson's style is meticulous attention paid to the design of the worlds that he creates and directs to directing, which means that the audience only knows exactly what he wants them to know and feels exactly what he wants them to feel. A major way he does this is through carefully picked colour palettes which reflect the style and atmosphere of the film. Because almost everything in Wes Anderson's films is made from scratch, he is able to dictate exactly the feel of the film and how it looks to the audience. This includes everything from the set to the costuming to the cinematography of every scene. A major part of Wes Anderson's cinematic style includes his clever use of symmetrical framing where he places the subject directly in the middle. This is a, isn't often seen in filmmaking where often the rule of thirds is followed, but by breaking this rule Wes Anderson creates a refreshing and interesting style. A consistent and well-defined colour palette means the audience feels a part of a world which is separated from their own. It also allows for much stronger set design and goes in hand in hand with the detailed production design Wes Anderson uses. His detailed production design has a similar effect to his colour palettes in that it helps the audience believe in and become immersed in worlds he creates. This means his films, for better or worse, usually have a very well defined vibe and this helps them become very popular. It also means the audience can get a better feel for the characters they are watching. The rich detail of costume design creates interesting and unique characters for the audience to hate or love. His use of symmetrical framing not only makes his style stand out from the competition, but also connects the audience to the subject more deeply, with more focus on the emotion of the characters. The symmetrical element also adds to the beauty of the cinematography and the way it challenges the audience's suspension of disbelief can actually be a positive, as it aids the world-building characteristics of the style, making the shots more charming and unusual. Wes Anderson is one of the most visually creative minds in Hollywood and has been an inspiration from music videos, to TikToks, to other films. I believe that he is one of the most important directors out there, but because he hasn't taken a path to become more mainstream and just please more and more people. Instead, his style has been further refined and developed while staying true to himself.